Anyway, next. <laughs> He picked me up for a date on a bicycle. Okay, let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. And during the date, excuse himself to fart. You are on a prank show. That has got to be a prank. Woo! <laughs> bicycle, he hit the nail on the head. Excusing himself to fart? He set the house on fire. I feel like this is somebody I'll end up with. Ah, don't say that. <laughs> Do you know, bicycle is wild. Like, bicycle is wild. Especially if we had not agreed to be cycling or something. And you didn't mention that you're coming in a Is it a bicycle or a bike? You know, because motorbike is also... <laughs> but even motorbike is... Ah, you are, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, my lady. I need to pass some gas. I always believe such experiences are just a simulation outside of the real world. Okay, so we went on a date to the cinema and during the movie she dropped her shoe. I helped her pick it up and saw 500 Naira on the floor and told her someone dropped this. She picked it up and placed it in her purse. Then marry her. Marry her. You'll never see struggle. She's just an investor. <laughs> see the bigger picture. It means... I got you. I got you. I'm money minded. I'm money minded. So that is a very potential wife if you ask me. Ah! I've always been skeptical about picking up money because hey, I've been hearing those stories for you don't know whose pocket it was in, but it's money. I'll pray over the money <laughs> and place it in my purse. Thank you. Because this one was always hungry. <laughs> I can't call or chat her without her telling me she hasn't eaten anything at all. I'm hungry, baby. Yeah, morning hunger. <laughs> honest that she was just hungry <laughs> it's just um that she saw you as a way you know to always acquire money or food and that's she was looking after herself i mean that's self-care or something i don't know what to tell you really she likes what you can do for her so <laughs> next she posted and wished herself happy birthday when i called her later that night to wish her well she said it wasn't her birthday and she did it for attention i just knew she would be a problem <laughs> This girl was bored and sat at home and said, hmm, how to entertain thyself. <laughs> Wish me happy birthday, you freaking bastards. Bend over to my knees. <laughs> She's a businesswoman, that's all I can say. We can see the, I honestly, I see the vision. I see the vision. But uh, that's reaching though. Lying that it's your birthday for attention, that is, that's crazy. That's wild. The guy that installed my air conditioner started calling me and tried to get close. I didn't want to be proud or anything, so I went along with it. One day he called me and said he's coming home. Oh! <laughs> Audacity is... Oh, I would love to know the ocean or the place. That men get the audacity. Babe, I actually envy men's audacity. It's, 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 it's fun to see because it actually makes you believe in yourself, really. <laughs> that I can really do this. I can stand up for myself. I can be entitled. He said he's coming home and I should prepare food for him. Hey, ambassador, chief of the executive, pastor, head of state, we should, hey. <laughs> we just wait for you to come home, prepare for you meal, because you installed my air conditioner weeks ago. This has got to be a mental, it's a sign of mental illness. And I know if you're a therapist, please tell me this has got to be a sign of something. Even if it's his own condition, kindly, we need to prescribe. You guys are funny. I just sit here and wait for you so you can come home. My home is your home and I prepare a meal. <laughs> it's like that guy wakes up and he's told, be fearless, be fearless, be fearless. And he's fearless. We were out at a restaurant and we saw a lady buying food to go. He said, isn't it the weekend she's supposed to be cooking, not buying food? I don't know if you guys, I don't know, I don't know what to say really. I always ask myself, do you guys forget that women have jobs? Like women work. And they have a lot of things to actually do. And buying food doesn't mean that I don't want to cook. It means that I want to just buy food, babes. And you assuming that I should be cooking already tells me you don't see me as a person. You see me as a chef. You see me as an object. You see me as a... 
a robot to wash clothes and cook? Well, I am a person. I would have gone home, blocked, delete. You know, there's some certain mindsets once you see. I advise that you block, baby. If you see someone, and yeah, this is a close-minded person, like, this is someone who has not decided to see beyond woman being a cook or a clean, that means he's close-minded about a lot of things. So you've got to save yourself. Blocking and ghosting does not, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you. It, it protects you from bullshit. Oh, you know, if this happened, I would have just actually like taken some to go as well. Be like, you know, ah, oh, sorry, I forgot to take some to go for my next weekend. Let me get some for my next weekend so I wouldn't have to cook, you know, because I barely cook, actually. Because two apple, stuka. Yeah, we have jobs. We are joking. So let's proceed. <laughs> I, I stopped talking to her because she was always fighting enemies on her stories. <laughs> They didn't believe me, but God did. <laughs> they never wanted me, but God did. <laughs> it's giving DJ God. If you're ever pussy about your, you should post about your enemies once in a while, which I, I used to do that kitambo, but I said, it really gives shady. So just do you baby and be kind. You know, people will just fill in the gaps. But if every day you're just fighting demon, enemies and demons, Monday, Friday, Saturday, every day you're fighting enemies, 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 and enemies, you know, it's a season. It's not every day, darling. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I love you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Love yourself. Love your body. Bye. <laughs>